Hey everyone, welcome back for more interactive Let's Playing action in Armored Core 4 Answer. Last time I took out uh, Gigabase again in a Blade mission. I, I literally did have to think about what the last mission I did was. <laughs> I completely forgot. I, I played a couple of practice rounds uh, to get used to using Blades more. So, Anyways, the last time we also got a bunch of new equipment in the store and I said I was going to go look and buy some stuff. Um... There's a bunch of new stuff, and you can really customize your machine quite a bit right now. But uh, nothing really jumps out at me. Uh, anything other than the weapons I was that I jumped at last time, which were the GRB Travers, the grenade cannons. Uh, the grenade cannons are very good at taking out boats and uh, the next uh, slash MTs. They'll have they have a uh, area of effect type thing so if there's a whole bunch of little guys clumped together one shot will take out a bunch of them uh the same will also go for uh sometimes with boats it'll, it'll blow up the boats beside them and such but these things are just very solid as you can see they got a lot of attack power although they can't you, you can't really judge it um i have to put it against something else uh <clears throat> that's a rocket uh this thing fires one rocket at a time that's a grenade cannon <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the current power is the chain gun, so you can't really compare the two. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> the firing rate is slow as all hell, though. You have to take that into account as well. So this is like a one-shot deal. Anyways, I'm going to be getting two of these things. One for each component of my back. Blam. Uh, you also got a different radar, too. Um, what are the difference? Uh, one's lighter. One costs more energy. One has a greater... One has better stats. That's basically it. <laughs> and one's heavier. One takes one takes up more energy and has better stats. That's the same one. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, we are going to assemble on my machine, and we're going to go take on this new mission. And oh crap, I do not have my percentages up on the screen. I can't... I don't have those percentages memorized. Oh crap, we are over capacity. Okay, I guess I'll be looking at a new pair of legs first. Uh, that was one thing I didn't really count on right now. Uh, when you're looking at the capacity of your machine, first thing you want to look at is your legs. Um, oh, good thing I, I was actually thinking about buying the light legs. I guess I'm not going to buy, buy those now. Um, I might go for this first pair of legs. That looks kind of cool. The legs are kind of bulky. They're a middle size. <clears throat> okay, so... With these ones, we are going to lose some of our primal armor defense, so the primal armor is going to be weakened a little bit faster, I think? Or no, we're going to be taking a little bit more damage every time we get hit in our primal armor, but the primal armor will stay uh, exactly one point more. I think that's what it means. Durability. Rectification. I'm not sure what the rectification exactly stands for. Oh well. Uh, PA is going to go down slightly... Uh, oh, that must be what the rectification is. Uh, just our PA capacity is down in general. The energy recovery is slightly slower. Turning ability is slightly slower. The legs are... Uh, oh, yeah, you can't compare that. When your machine is overweight, uh, your average speed is cut in half. So if you look at the average speed right now, the one on the left, the 3,791, that's actually half of the current speed we had without the Travers on. So, yeah, the right is... If you cut the right one in half, that's the speed. And I can't do that in my head right now. That is 75... That's 75.82? I think that's 75.82, so it's a little bit slower. But whatever, I need to buy them so I can actually put it in. I don't want to take out uh, stuff out of my energy recovery for the extra points. So I'm going to equip those, and then we're going to go do our mission. But yeah, when you're looking at your the capacity of your legs, like if you're looking at your weight capacity, the first thing you want to look at is your legs. Can you hold more with your legs? Um, the other thing you can look at, which is what I just hinted at, you could go into the uh, points here, and if you take out the points here, you can go up, and the first, uh, first available square right here is your load, which is your carrying capacity. So I could increase it to by about 150 points. I don't know if that would have been enough, but... Whatever. I've already bought and equipped the legs. So we got a new pair of legs on Mega Doomer now. 
And, uh, anyways, we gotta go to our missions, and I gotta grab my percentages here. There they are. Okay, so in third place, once again, Red Beret with 13%. You guys just don't like trucks. I don't know. There's three of them. There's trucks! Yeah, it's an escort mission. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, and in second place, with 26% of the votes, Ambush Sphere Invasion Forces. Meaning we're going to do Take Back Cradle 21, which had 61% of the forces. Uh, 61% of the votes. Why did I say forces? Anyways, this is a precision mission, so even though I just bought the kick-ass guns and equipped them, uh, the grenade cannons, I'm actually going to be using the energy uh, guns. This is the mission. During trial operations, Cradle 2-1 was occupied by the Liliana insurgents. They are an extremist anti-establishment group, more radical even than Ninarch. They are committed to violence for its own sake, and little else. You have been given special clearance to enter Cradle airspace. We want you to seek out the enemy and destroy them. Remember to limit the damage to Cradle 2-1 as much as possible. We're offering significant bonuses if you can keep the damage to a minimum. This should be no problem for a top Lynx like yourself. We look forward to your reply. Okay, so as she said, this there's going to be a, a bonus for not damaging... Uh, the cradle that we're on right now for limiting the damage. So you want to bring in a highly accurate, uh, preferably longer range weapon for this. Uh, the energy guns we've been using are actually pretty accurate and they'll do the damage that you need. Uh, they're probably not the strongest thing you could use right now, but whatever. This is uh, the best you should come up with. Be, it, be sure you can uh, stay in the air for a long time, because uh, these things actually have some half-decent guns and missile launchers, so... Oop, I just shot Cradle. Um, oh, hello. No, you can't. You are failing hardcore right now, people. Oh, there's a couple of flying dudes around here somewhere as well. Ooh, that's a good count. One, two, three... One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, also, if you you kind of want to stay away from them because if these things are firing at you, they might inadvertently hit the cradle. Oh, come on! Where is he? Uh, nope. Stop flying around. He's below me. On the radar, if you see a green line, that's a difference in altitude. So he's above me right now, which means his green line is above me. Yay. And finish. <laughs> Gotta get the epic shot at the end. And the slow dramatic fade out. S rank. And, um. Looks like the special cost was even more than what we gained. Like, uh, it wasn't that high, but it covered everything we spent, so that's pretty good. So we came out with above the basic. That's a good mission. That was good. Quick, but solid. New parts unlocked? What? Following AC schematics. Hey, we got new stuff in the store! Yay! I'm gonna go take a quick look. Um, do, do, do. Looks like, I think that's a new machine gun. Um, looks like we got a couple of new laser blades. Uh, looks like we might have a new laser rifle. I think this one of those is a new laser rifle. I think. Uh, in the back we have scatter a new scatter missile, PM missile. We got some new missile stuff. Uh, ooh, laser cannons! Laser cannons are good. They're long range. These things are long range weapons. I I actually like these things. Um, actually I like the rail guns, but we don't have those yet. So pretty precise. The 97. Uh, compared to what uh, compared to what we currently have, which is the uh, grenade cannons, I guess. Uh, they're a lot faster. They're twice as fast. The shots are twice as fast. They've got a longer range. These things are more of a sniping weapon. 
So, yeah. Uh, they also shoot a lot slower than the grenade cannons. Holy crap, those things are slow. Like, really, really, really slow. Uh, I'm guessing the rest of that stuff was extra parts here. Yeah, we got a couple of new head parts. Yeah, the Judith there. Uh, no, those two are still are there. So we got these two. Um, I think that might be? I don't know. That kind of looks cool with my current machine, with my current legs, though. I'm kind of hesitant to go and change the entire machine, because I kind of want to change it slowly. I'm kind of waiting for a specific machine parts, though, because I, I got a couple in mind I want to use, so... Um... Looks like we got a couple of new main boosters, because I think we only had three before. Nothing new there. Side boosters, I think we... Yeah, the Holofrens and the Judiths we didn't have before, so... We got a new Judith, and I think one of those is new. Um, yeah, anyways. That's it for those. Now, let's go take a look at the missions. Surprise! We finished one of the mission branches! <laughs> so, oh, you have to choose one of the losers. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, the two losing missions from this episode are Ambush Sphere Invasion Forces, which is uh, the mission where you start with a Vanguard Overboost, you go rushing in on an attacking force from behind, you take out them all as you go along, and then once you reach the sphere base, you want to turn around and uh, destroy them all again. All the ones you missed along the way, you get to blow up after. Yay. And then support the Red Beret Assault. You go have three trucks rush into the area after a minute or half a minute. A short period of time, giving you time to clear out a, start clearing out a path, which they will follow to the end of the mission. <clears throat> There's several paths. You just have to clear one, they take it. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just escort him. Oh, yeah, the more trucks you save, the more money you get. There's three trucks, so save the three trucks. Yeah, come on, people. It's simple. Anyways, those are your two choices this week. Go nuts, sphere, or red. Um, yeah. See you guys.